Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the expansion of in the combi boiler for this back seat. Uh, the reason uh, why we need to change it is the pressure keeps dropping on the boiler, so there's no leaks in the house. It's simply uh, the, the actual vessel balloon is not holding the pressure. And uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace it on a uh, back seat Eco Main 30. Okay, so as you can see, I'm taking the cover off, um, and then obviously take all the screws off the panels. And then um, from after that, you gotta drain the system. Once you drain the system, then it's simply you know loosen your nuts, and then take take it all off. Okay, so you don't need to drain the whole system, it's only the boiler itself. Uh, so you attach your rubber hose pipe to it and then simply just drain the expansion vessel and any water that's in within the boiler. So there's no point in going around the whole house draining with radiators because all you do is you lock off your flow and turn at the bottom of the radiator, uh, off the bottom of the boiler, and then simply just drain it from this point. You know, it saves you going around draining everything. You simply attach it and open that drain off uh, uh, locking. Uh, the white, you can see the white locking uh, turning cap thing. You turn that and then release all the water into the, into the nearest bucket or sink if you've got anything available. Okay, in order to take the expansion vessel off, just open that screw, take that bracket off, and then you loosen this nut here. Yeah. So once you take that nut out, loosen that, you got the fiber, uh, well, the rubber washer in there, or fiber washer, and then you loosen the other nut above, and that's it, and then you, you take your expansion vessel out.
Okay, so this is the like for like, so this is the 10 litre expansion. This one, and it's recommended at one bar uh, to increase it pressure. So that first screws in, and I put the second one in here. So now close the drain before we pressurize it. Okay, guys, so the next part is to make sure the pressure in the expansion vessel is set at one bar. I know it's a brand new expansion vessel, but you know, it's always best to check and commission, make sure the relevant pressures it holds on the new one as well. Okay, so simply uh, add the, attach the pump onto the actual um, valve, you know, similar to your, you know, your bicycle. Uh, wheel it's exactly the same thing your tire the valve pressure uh, attach it on and then you know just just pressure test it you know make sure it stays at one bar yeah so as you can see i'm attaching it on and literally there are attachments you can get for your um your pump but in this instance it's not required Oh, 
Okay, so put the pressure back on, fill the water back into the system. Okay, so that's it now. Turn the board up on. Uh, reset. So I'm going to put the heating on via the hive up and just to make sure um, that you know, the heat is all working, operating and, and in commission the pressure. But there will be a separate video on how to install the hive. So you know, make sure you subscribe just to see another video on how to install the hive. Okay, goes in these holes. Yeah. Okay, so there's two holes caught over the top and the same thing. Put that on the top. Okay guys, that's it. So that's it. It's very simple to do. And uh, so I'll see you on the next video and make sure you subscribe. There's also electrical videos, carpentry, not just plumbing. And uh, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.